Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader uh nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. If you are brand new to the channel, guys, thank you very much uh, for tuning in to finding us. Long day. Uh, hopefully everybody is doing well. The only thing I ask, if you are enjoying the content and you like what we're doing on a daily basis, all I ask is if you could be uh, so kind, take a second, uh, like the video, share, subscribe, all that cool social media stuff that I was told to say so we can move forward in the PS60 uh, movement. So, right, you had uh, one of those sessions today, uh, not a lot going on, right? Not a lot going on. Uh, the grind continues in uh, the market. You can see uh, the queues. The funny thing is the fuse queues is the first close uh, out of the last uh, you know five six sessions, we actually closed lower uh, than the open. You know, again, you can't read too much into anything, uh, but it really is. It's a stairway to the heaven, and uh, again, it's just kind of the same thing. Stocks rest, right? And here's a you know, perfect example of you know stocks resting, right? You have Meta resting two days in a row. Uh, AMD broke out uh, three days in a row, put an inside day, kind of resting. Uh, you have names, for example, uh, like SMCI had a big, big run in the last couple of days, kind of resting. Uh, Microsoft got hit a little bit today on some uh, AI news. But again, who could complain? If you're a Microsoft shareholder, I mean, it's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. The one stock uh, continues to push forward uh, is Apple. And I tell you, you know, ARM, another semiconductor uh, pretty much rested a little bit of profit taking, but the one that just keeps on going and going and going is Tesla, right? Uh, absolutely. And I still buy, I still stand by the theory that eventually, right? Eventually in the next couple of days, we will get some sort of blow off pause. And I joked around today on social media and I said, yeah, I mean, I think the reversal is going to come in the 2096 Olympics in Kazakhstan, right? Mark it down. I'm standing behind it. I'm putting my whole reputation behind it. All jokes aside, it's just absolutely incredible. Uh, they're just continuously pounding, you know, 270, 275 calls, 280 calls, 300 calls. It's just absolutely incredible. Uh, again, if you're a shareholder of this thing, you are absolute blessed. Uh, phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I was happy with the move up here. Okay, here it's already, you're, you know, you're in La La Land. So congratulations. Listen, more goes uh, the higher probability that eventually will pull. But for now, it just continuously going. And again, even the most aggressive stocks rest, right? You know, this AMD breakout from three days ago, at least it has a rest. I, we haven't seen a downtick, right? We haven't literally seen a downtick. Guys, these are all green uh, candles. These are all uh, higher closes than open. So again, the gravy train uh, on Tesla continues to move along. Again, nothing really uh, jumps out at you today yet, you know, continuously more, a little bit of more notes coming out of uh, Fed, uh, Fed Chair Powell uh, calling risks, right? Risk of interest r interest rates, blah, 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 blah. It's same nonsense. It hasn't said anything in the last two years that's, uh, you know, anything that's uh, going to go, oh, wow, wow, that's crazy. Uh, so the market pretty flat of the day. You have the Dow down 50, NASDAQ. Uh, up 25, uh, S and P 500 up four. But the most important part is going to get like I, I've been reiterating for years and years and years. Uh, you know how everybody knows the, the acronym YOLO, right? You only live once. Well, our acronym appeared in the PS60 theory is YOLO. You only need one, and that's the whole point. Because uh, the beta names, the Magnificent Seven, the ex, you know the expanded names, the most aggressive stocks in the universe. You know, because they expand so aggressively, you don't need 25 trades of the day. All you got to do is catch that one pivot, right? Two, three, that's great. But if you catch that one pivot that expands, it gives you two, three, four dollars. Again, that's a phenomenal, phenomenal day. And on a day like this, when some stocks rested and some stocks kind of drifted and some stocks kind of, you know, did absolutely nothing, uh, it was a very, very nice uh, session today. We caught a couple of bounces in NVIDIA. Uh, again, speaking of NVIDIA, uh, beautiful, just absolutely beautiful. They continue 
uh, to pound uh, those, you know, we talked about it last night. We know they were pounding the 33, 35s. Well, look where the stock went today. The stock went to 34, got rejected off the linear regression line. They continued to continuously uh, pound the stock, short-term expiration of the 35s, the 40s. And now we're starting to see more aggressive 150 calls uh, that are coming into uh, the tape as well. Uh, this morning, again, we saw a lot of call buying today in Amazon. Amazon didn't price improve. But we saw a lot of call buying coming in this morning for the 202.50 uh, weeklies, for the 205 weeklies, and the 210s, and the 210s uh, for next week. So let's see. Let's see in the next couple of days uh, if Amazon can wake up and start expanding again. One chart, it, it's, it's a terrible looking chart, right? It's an absolute terrible looking chart. Uh, AFRM, it's one of those pay now, excuse me, buy now, pay later. Uh, you know, it has something attached from to Amazon. But there was two weird bets today, considering the stock looks like garbage. I say that in the nicest way possible. Uh, keep an eye on this thing for the next couple of days. They were coming for the $30 weeklies. Considering the stock is in a dead downtrend and doesn't have a pulse, it's kind of weird. Um, not really a chart that I'm loving or even liking, but something you want to keep an eye on for the next couple of days. Considering they're, you know, they're, they're taking... $2 out of the money calls in a dead downtrend. Again, maybe those, this is one of those scenarios. Maybe somebody knows something. Maybe somebody knows nothing. Maybe just people are just taking wild bets uh, and hoping that uh, Ish can stick to a wall. But the, bo- the most important part is, again, when you see unusual option flow, you kind of want to take uh, a note and kind of uh, pay attention. Watch this thing for the next couple of days. See if it starts reclaiming back the five-day moving average. Maybe it pops uh, along. Other than that, pretty, you know, pretty... You know, orderly, uh, ordinary uh, day today. Not a lot of stuff going on. But again, like I just said, you only need one, guys. That's it. You only need one. Uh, here is the pivot of the day. Uh, NVIDIA 130.77 needs to build. There is initial supply. There was a little bit of supply there at 31.12. It hit that perfectly. Got back above the 31.12 and absolutely exploded. Here is the move on nvidia right look at the 60 minute view right here's the 60 minute view here excuse me here it is took out this whole channel here and traded nearly to 34 beautiful that's all you really needed on the day we also caught nvidia on a perfect bounce uh into rising 60 minute support for about a buck so it was good you know not a bad day not a bad day especially in nvidia envx uh traded and got above the channel here you know nice looking chart here envx 1712 uh, needs to build. Um, you know, it's maybe a day away from expanding, right? Uh, maybe a day away from expanding. Got above the 1712, only went up about 20 cents. But again, this is the highest close uh, in this whole formation. Uh, AMD actually had an initial move off the open. 179 needs to confirm for more buyers to step in. Here was AMD before uh, profit taking came in uh, mid morning. It got above the 79 area. Traded up to like 80 and a half and then a reverse course. Basically had a res day, beautiful, beautiful res day uh, consolidation after the big three-day run-up. Watch this thing. Again, this is not, the story here is not ended, especially uh, if the semiconductors start waking back up in the next couple of days. Uh, if this thing gets gets above the linear regression line, again, they're still coming for those 180, uh, 185 uh, short-term uh, expiration um, I think that was it, right? I think that was it. Um, yeah, I mean, MCHP again got rejected in 94. Uh, Avago uh, never got to the 1766 uh, level. That was it. Pretty quiet day. Again, you have a lot of disconnected uh, stocks because they had such big run-ups. Uh, when you have such big run-ups, the last thing you want to do is start pounding the table on stocks that are resting. And again, I've been saying this for years. When the market rests, you rest. So let me give you guys uh, some ideas for tomorrow. Just um, just one quick announcement. Uh, tomorrow, this is probably the last video of the week. Uh, tomorrow is Wednesday. The only reason I say that, tomorrow I'm trading through the morning and then I am driving my son for a three-day tournament in Atlantic City. Um, I will be trading uh, Thursday. I will be trading Friday, I'm guessing from the hotel room. Uh, sorry, social media. I'm not going to be trading for the pool. Uh, but, 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 uh, tomorrow I will be trading probably through the morning and then I'm going to drive a couple hours, uh, to Atlantic City. So I'll probably have no, you know, I, I, I won't have any equipment or anything else to, uh, kind of record the video. So let me give you guys some ideas, uh, for tomorrow. I still like this microchip. 
Again, it's one of the very few semiconductors that hasn't expanded. If you, if you go through the semis, you'll see everything else is going bonkers. Eventually, it has to reclaim back this 50-day moving average, maybe tomorrow. But watch this thing for the next couple of days. If it could reclaim back to 50, considering how hot the semiconductors are, uh, maybe this thing wakes up here. Uh, Roku, uh, again, had its moments uh, you know, in the last couple of years. It's very close to reclaiming the supply zone. If you can see here, it had a nice run in the middle of June, and now it's basing out going sideways. Watch this thing for the next couple of days. If it could get back above um, last week's highs, maybe this thing wakes up. Not a, not a bad looking chart here. Uh, Snapchat, right? Snapchat, you have a long distribution, had a really nice run on its old last earnings quarter. Um, you know, watch this thing for the May highs. If Snapchat gets above the May highs. And again, that doesn't, doesn't necessarily have to do it tomorrow. But keep an eye on it. Set an alert for the for the May highs. If it gets above that, uh, it can wake up. And um, guys, watch, watch Chewy. The only reason I'm saying that, right? The only reason I'm saying that. Yesterday there was an odd buyer who came in. Granted, it was for the Januarys for the thirty two fifty calls, but he came in for seven hundred and fifty thousand. There's only one person I believe is is is, is building a position. Today, they got downgraded, and the good part about today was they didn't go down. That's a very, very bullish sign. You see how it just keeps on going sideways, right? You see how it keeps on going sideways? Watch this thing in the next couple of days, especially if it doesn't go down. If it can reclaim back the five-day moving average, maybe this thing wakes up again. Again, this this is the type of stock, like if this dude pulls, you know, pulls a one of those scenarios and like another meme, like a dog, a cat, a parrot, whatever... Maybe this thing really wakes up. The, the most important part is you need to know your levels on this thing before the whole public goes, yo, bro, you know, you just tweeted out, uh, you know, a dog. <laughs> okay. You have to know the levels. Watch this thing for the next couple of days above the five day. Uh, if it wakes up, you know, maybe you could get another run. So that's it, guys. That's it. I'm going to cut my uh, session a little bit here shortly. Uh, today, I have to take my son actually in a few minutes to his last training before a three day tournament. Uh, if you are in Atlantic City, I am going to be the guy who is sitting there not enjoying himself because, if again, Atlantic City is the septic tank uh, of the East. It's no Vegas, I'll tell you that much. But if you are in Vegas uh, and you are in this uh, tournament, say hello, tweet at me. I'm there. Believe me, I'll have plenty of time <laughs> to see everybody. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Happy trading, and I will see you all in the field tomorrow. Take care.